Hey guys, it's Dr. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have this crazy Halloween skin stretched over a skull face look. So last year I did this same look in a really tight bind. I only had 45 minutes, like an hour to like do something really quick. So this is what I did. I did this basically in the exact same steps that I did last year. I had on my foundation from work, you know, like when you're out there freelancing, like you don't have time to do your makeup, you do everyone else's. So I had to come in and make it quick. So this is what I came up with. It's really fun. It looks kind of hard, but it's pretty simple. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so I'm going to start the look by putting in my Desio contacts in the color Innocent White. And then we are going to start our tutorial. So everything's a little bit sporadic, but we're going to go through this really quickly and we're going to get started. All right, so first I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and we're gonna start with the black cream that's inside of it. I'm just going to use an angled brush and start sketching out that mask. We wanna make sure that we're sketching out the mask to where it looks like it's pulled back tight on the back of our head. That way it looks like the skin is stretched over the skull. So I'm just going over my nose and I'm gonna connect the two together. I'm gonna to use tape because I'm hella visual and I really can't do eyeshadow without having the tape or the border there. So I'm just pushing that down. So this way I can have a more clean effect of how I do my eyes. All right, so I'm going to use the Morphe palette. This is in the number 40C, but I don't have a Morphe code. If somebody has a Morphe code, use someone else's Morphe code. So we're going to start with that darker brown color that's in the corner, and we're just going to use a fluffier blending brush, and we're going to use that as our free shape. We're going to put that right above as our transition, and we're just going to blend it out. I like a more winged out eyeshadow, so we're going to use that first. Now we're going in with a little bit deeper of a brown to deepen in our crease and we're going to take that same brush and in circular motions just blend it into our transition color so we get a nice smooth blend. And then we're going to go in there and we're going to use that light, light, pretty, shiny champagne color I'm going to press that all over the lid. Now we're going over with that grayish black color in the crease so we can blend everything together and there's no lines. All right, so now we're going to take all the same colors that we just used on the top of our eyeshadow and we're going to do that on the lower part of our eyes. We're deepening that in with that same dark gray color and then we're going to go on and connect the two together with a 217 brush from MAC. All right, so now we're taking a Marc Jacobs highlighter in the color Blacker. I love this eyeliner. It's amazing. And we're going with the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. It's my absolute favorite right now. And then we're going to go in with the Goof Proof Brow Pencil just to reshape in those brows. Now we're using the Naked Skin Contour Powder and we're going to use that to bronze up our face. And y'all know, I'm using that Nikki Tutorials Glow. <laughs> Gotta use that right there so you can see that highlight all the way from space. Alright, so now we're using the Anastasia Lip Kit and we're going to use the white. I'm using the white just because it's a little bit creamier and it's easier to blend out. And we're going to use that as the highlights on our mask. And we're using my finger because it just blends everything out easier because it's a lipstick. And the heat from my finger blended everything out really, really easy. Alright, so now I'm taking that same angle brush and the black that was in the flash palette and I'm just creating the dots so later on, whenever we are done with our skull, we can connect the mask and the skull together. Now I'm going in for the hollows of my jaw and I'm creating right on top of my actual bones where the empty space in my jaw is at. And now I'm just cleaning up my nose, I'm shaping it up, just fill, or following all those normal shapes and then we're going to fill that in with a black cream. All right, so now I'm setting that with the black eyeshadow in Noir from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just setting that so it lasts all day and it doesn't smudge, or if you get oily on your nose, it won't move. So now I'm filling in my empty jaw space. I'm just filling this in so that way it looks kind of like a shadow, and then I'll connect it with the teeth later on. Alright, so now I'm using a bigger angle brush with the white cream from the Makeup Flash palette. I'm using the white after because this kind of shapes up the jaw and just makes the line straighter. And then it'll be easier for me to clean everything up. So 
So now you see I'm going to be filling everything in. So I'm just using that bigger angle brush to fill in the parts that would look like the bones. Alright, so now I'm using a white eyeshadow from an Urban Decay palette. And I'm going to use that to set in all of the different spaces because we don't want this to move. We don't want this to smear. So I'm just going to use that white eyeshadow to set it all in. I'm doing the same thing on the top now. We're just sketching this out so I can clean up under the mask and then just fill in all the white spots where the bones would be. Alright, so this is the part that definitely takes the longest and the most time, and this is what's going to take the most precise um, sketching out. So it's the teeth. So you're just going to go over your lip and start sketching out your teeth and elongating them a little bit so it looks like the roots of the teeth. And then later on you're going to trace around them so that way you can make them look a little bit more eerie and creepy and a little bit more dirty. So you just want to be patient and then sketch out all the teeth the way you want them. Alright, so now I'm drawing the teeth that are in the back, and I'm just drawing it as one big tooth because then I'm going to separate them later on with a black gel liner. So now we're going to set those teeth because we don't want the shape to move at all. We want to set it all in place so with that same white eyeshadow, I'm just setting all of the teeth. Now we're going to give the mask a little bit more depth and dimension, so I'm using a taupey brown shade, and I'm putting that on top of the mask so that way it looks like it's casting a shadow or there's a shadow under the mask. Now we're using that black liner I talked about and we're just separating the teeth and blending everything together so everything has its own separate shape and it doesn't blend together whenever we're starting to do under the mask. Alright, so now we're going back in and with this part we're just creating the bones under the skull. This is why you, do, you want to do the black first so there wasn't everything just blending together. Now we're going in, I'm using a black eyeshadow to set the black parts under there and then just deepening everything up so there's dimension and it looks a little bit more eerie and creepy. Alright, so now we're using that same taupey color and I'm doing this with the roots of the teeth so that way they look a little bit more decayed and it looks a little bit more nasty and grimy just so it's a little bit more, you know, like spooky ooky halloween -y. Now I'm using that white gel liner and I'm using this as rings to connect the mask to the skull so that we look at like snatched back. Now we're going to use the black liner and we're going to do little indentions around it so it looks like the mask is snatched down pretty hard and it's pulling. Now we're using Lily Lashes in the style Lila because they're one of my faves and we want to give that beautiful fluttery lash. Alright guys, and that is the finished look. It's like you took someone else's face and you ripped it off and you put it on a skull. It's a nice medium between like a scary and a glam look for all you guys and girls that want to go out with a semi-scary glam Halloween makeup. So yeah, I had so much fun creating this look. If you guys want to see what I'm doing next week, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell that's it's somewhere right here. There's a little bell right there that you can click to where you can get notifications. But click that so you can see what I'm doing next week and then everything after that. Um, if you guys recreate this look, please, 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 please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see you guys doing it. I feel like it's a pretty achievable look. I feel like you can do this in about an hour, hour and a half. It took me about about that time. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.